Hey guys, it's your boy. So um, today I'm going to be doing a review of one of my favorite visual novel trilogies, World End Economica. Now, spoiler warning, because... Wait, you're saying that... No, no. You're saying that I shouldn't be reviewing this because... Um, you're saying I shouldn't review this because I put a comment in discussions for a really crappy game and I got a free copy of it and I should review it? Oh, and I have to review Clash Cup 2? Oh, come on! It's a TV show! Condition, I think I'm a kid. I'm still in my teens, but I've had a million kids. Because of that, I've put it back a little bit. But everybody knows I'm proper well. So, this is a game. This is, this is a game for sure. I dug myself into a pretty deep pickle when I asked for a copy of it because I didn't really expect for a positive response. Seeing as I'm an obscure YouTuber and all. But hey. If it worked for Clash Cup Turbo and after two months I still haven't been sued yet, I guess I can get any game for free if I ask nicely enough. Please don't sue me, Devs of Clash Cup. I'll work on the review someday. Just don't miss me, please. I have the money. I talked a bit before about how Zombitados was an earnest attempt at trying to make a choose your own adventure game that involves zombies. That just barely missed its mark. But this. Oh, this. Let's just start talking about it. Candice DeBebe is... someone, I guess? It's not a real person. It's just something you can type into Google and it's the first result that pops up. It's the same thing with Zombatados. It's a title you type in, and bam, there's your game. Enough sidetracking though, um, where was I? Candice, the trailer trash she is, is in a trailer park trying to get more tan. Because people who tan are so attractive. And when she tries to, she's told she needs to go back to the forest to get more tanning things. But oh no, when she does some stupid quest and comes back, some person named Crystal beats the heck out of Candace and takes the tan van. What we need to do now is get it back by using, getting cool magic powers and stuff. Okay, it's a stupid story. It really is. It's not even the stupid kind of funny, but I'll get to that later. So about the presentation. Uh, ugh, what am I supposed to say? You saw it from a mile away. Someone skipped the object modeling Unity tutorials, I guess, because whether it be intentional or not, this is the worst kind of Unity game. Who's Your Daddy has more realistic faces than this. One thing I have to give this game credit for is two things. One, it has voice acting at least, but it's not that good kind of voice acting. My caravan is the cleanest in the whole caravan park! Not right, yes! Thank you, Ron Candace! Yeah? Well, maybe you should spend some of that time cleaning your caravan, maintaining your fake tan, you skank ass pale skank that yellow cheek freak fat bitch! One other thing is that it's self-aware, which is a good thing in some cases. Knowing that something is bad is the start of something great. The music is a mix of instrumental and singing songs. The instrumental stuff is okay at best, but where the game shines is the vocal music. It ranges from boring... The forest theme... I want to come into the forest and see a lady garden. Show it to me, we could be to really funny. The mermaid theme. I had sex with a mermaid. It wasn't for free. She charged me, you see. From all I've played, but one thing I noticed is that this game shines with humorous potential. To go a bit off topic a bit, if the devs could do more things that made me laugh, then that'd be great. The game obviously was made with the purpose of being bad and stupid because it can, but if they took the effort to add better humor and tried their best with it, in my opinion it'd be way better. Because right now this game is just on and off with how crazy, funny, or boring and dull it can be. Now the gameplay is basically you wandering around trying to do quests all around the areas which can range from walking places or just shooting enemies. Or like me. 
You just walk past the enemies like you can do on Love Island and just do whatever. Screw leveling up! I need this plot! But in summary, the gameplay isn't the strong point of this game. It's really nothing. Now, I know I rushed this review a bit, but here are my final thoughts. Candace DeBebe's incredibly trick lifestyle is only worth your time if you think it is. Because for me, it was okay. It was made to be bad, and with that said, there were moments that did make me laugh. I would say this is really bad if it did almost nothing for me, like Zombatados did, or if it were just a Flash game ported to Steam like Save Jesus was, but this is neither of those. It's a Unity game made by one guy who tried to make a joke game and got it on Steam, and he at least put slight effort into making it a bit funny at times, but what he didn't focus on was making good gameplay or at least improving his humor a bit. That's all for me. See you guys in the next episode of Judge Judy where I get sued for taking too long on a different game review. Adios, muchachos. Oh, and by the way, I know I played this as a joke, but I am not actually getting sued. That is a disclaimer. I forgot to put that. I'm so stupid. It's a disclaimer. I'm not getting sued. It was a joke. Just a prank, bro. See y'all later.